Welcome to our tutorial on creating planes. Throughout this course, you've probably noticed that a CATIA user needs to create planes all the time. Let's activate the plane command. The plane definition window opens. From the plane type drop down menu, we've got a number of choices. Offset from plane is our first choice. Let's select this for now. Let's look at the reference field. Right clicking gets me a number of options, but otherwise, this is a selection box for any plane, face, or surface in the workspace. I'm going to select this face, and here is our plane. We can grab and drag it. You can grab by the handles and move it up and down. We can enter the offset value in the definition window tab. We can reverse the direction and opt to repeat the object after OK. Let's check this option and click OK. Now we choose the number of instances. Let's choose four. If we keep create in a new body checked, this lets us create the instances in a new geometrical set. We're going to be reviewing this later in this course. Let's leave this option unchecked for now and click OK. Here are our planes. If I expand the specification tree, I see the first plane with an offset value of 10 millimeters. The rest are formula driven. We can double click to change the formula. Click on the formula button. Cancel out for now. Let's cancel out for now. And collapse our tree a little. Okay, we'll activate the plane command again. Next to the plane type drop down selection arrow is a lock. Locking the plane type prevents any automatic or accidental changes. Let me illustrate how the plane type can be automatically changed. Cancel out of this for now. Deselect everything and activate the plane command again. Let's lock the type. Now, when I mouse over planes or planar surfaces, I'm able to select them. But if I mouse over this edge fillet, I'm not able to select it. However, if I unlock the plane type, I'm then able to select the fillet. But if I do that, see what happens? The plane type was altered. Moving on, our next plane type option is parallel through point. I'm going to select this face and this point, and here is our plane. Click OK. The next option is angle normal to plane. Under rotation axis, I'll select this edge and this face for the reference. Here is our plane. Select normal 2 to get a 90 degree angle. Or we can specify the angle with these up and down arrows. Click OK. Our next option is through three points. Let's select points 1, 2, and 3. Click OK. And here is our plane. The next option is through two lines. Let's select lines 1 and 2 and here is our plane. Click OK. Our next option is through point and line. Select the point and the line and here is our plane. Click OK. Our next option is through planar curve. Let's select this curve and click OK. Hmm. Next, let's select normal to curve. Select this edge and by default the plane is created in the middle. Now select this point, for example, and click OK. Our next option is Tangent to Surface. I'm going to click on this edge fillet. Now Katia asks me to select a point. Right click, let's create a point. 
Let's click somewhere on the fillet to establish a point. And click OK. And we have our point and our plane. Click OK. And this concludes our tutorial on creating planes.